Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Camp. I'm Kevin Harkins, joined by Jack Dyer, Charlie Shortsleeve, and uh, Gary and O'Hare. Uh, today we're going to be talking about wide receivers, top five wide receivers in the NFL, and how we think uh, they're going to ha- help contribute to a Lombardi Trophy for their Super Bowl team. Uh, let's start with you, Gary. Uh, just to say one thing that you forgot, we do have a live audience today. So mm-hmm. any questions that are asked? I'll take any questions. So I'll start with me. One, Justin Jefferson. A Minnesota Vikings team that has been lacking. You got Kirk Cousins, who, well, last season Kirk Cousins, this year, I don't even know who their, their quarterback is so bad. Like, what, the dude they picked up in the draft, right? What's his name? I don't even know his name. The Michigan guy. J.J. Yeah. McCarthy. J.J. Yeah, McCarthy. Yeah, J.J. McCarthy. There it is. Uh, he's, he hasn't proven himself in the NFL. So, but Justin Jefferson, I don't know if he, many, I don't know if, you probably, you probably all saw the catch last year, but mm. that is arguably the greatest catch in in, in sports, in, in the NFL, in the NFL. So, Justin Jefferson's in one, Tyreek's two, uh, Devontae's three. Devontae, which one? Devontae Adams. Mm. Jamar Chase is four, and uh, Brandon Ayuk is five. Uh, so, right, we're going go. to go give Charlie. to Jack. Uh, oh, I think we got Tyreek Hill. Led, led the league in receiving yards last year. Definitely the number one wide receiver in the NFL. I mean, 1,800 yards was on track to break the um, receiving yards in the season record. He's for sure number one. Number two, I'd go with Justin Jefferson. He was hurt last year, but still a very good wide receiver. He's been consistent, even with bad quarterbacks. He's definitely up there. And then for the rest of the list, you got uh, Jamar Chase is definitely not there because he has not been playing well recently. Um, you've got Brandon Ayuk is probably up there in the top five somewhere. Um, then you've also got Devonte Adams is yeah. also near that area too. Uh, you got four. All right, let's who's, go. Who's your last one? Let's know. That's you only have four. You who's the last four. one? Uh, I'm gonna go. All right. All right. Let's um, go. Let's go to Jack, and then we'll take questions from the uh, All right, audience. So I'm gonna make it quick here because we got some eager fans in the stadium or in the crowd, and I'm gonna go with Justin Jefferson, Tyree Kill, and then some youngins. I'm gonna go with Demario <laughs> Douglas, <laughs> Amon Ross St. Brown, and Puka Nakua. In that order. Oh in that God. order. Yeah. Oh in the, you have okay, Demario Douglas. You, right three. There. you got to stop. All right, so, we'll take a question. So first. some we'll people have been very eager first. and very disrespectful for the way they ask. See the man in the back of the talk to Junior. He's been very polite. No mention of C D Lamb at no. all. No. No. C D Lamb is better than no. everyone you said besides Justin Jefferson and Tyreek Hill, and that's like not even CD Lamb C D Lamb is day. he's he's number five. He's that in is, top five no, wide receivers. That, that is not correct. Devontae Adams has Alright, we're gonna go. Okay, let, let him talk. Who who's your five? Who's my five? Let's hear your five. Quick. Justin. That's my top three. Well, what was right. your five? That's the top five. Who's after those? Those are my board. Jamar. Yeah. All right. I'm on that one. All right. That's pretty. Right. That's pretty. valid, except for number three. Yeah. Uh, we'll take uh, maybe, no AJ maybe Brown. Maybe top ten. It, yeah, maybe no AJ Brown. AJ Brown is on another level. Yeah, I forgot about AJ Brown, actually. Yeah. He's yeah. A, Brown. Let's take it from the uh, snapping man right there. I'm a Cowboys hater. CD Lamb yeah, is the top yeah. three wide receiver in the NFL, and it's not even close. And as you guys just said, AJ Brown deserved to be there, too. How do you guys not have him? And Amon Ross, St. Brown, those are my, I think Hill and Jefferson are one and two. It doesn't matter what order you put in. But then it's the other three. CeeDee Lamb, Cowboys hater, hate them, can't stand them. Worst franchise, history of the world. Wish they would not exist, but CeeDee Lamb's the top three wide receiver. I'm going to have to stop you right there. Yeah, I'm, I com- I'm not going to lie, I completely forgot about Amon Ross. Amon Ross, St. Brown, but overall, I just think Brandon Ives is a better, no. be- better target in the NFL. Brandon uh, Because Amon Ross, I don't know if you know, but Amon Ross is like so five true. foot six. What? He's actually not. How tall is he? Amon Ross But he was an all pro and Ayuk wasn't. He's not six No, that's. No, he's Amon not. Ross wasn't all pro. Or he wasn't. Uh, like, uh, he didn't make the, the Rangers pro. jersey. Okay, so I actually agree with most of your takes, except for uh, you on the right. Mm-hmm. You were completely wrong with all of yours. Him? Okay, anyway, Me? Yeah. No, okay, no, Mr. Bumbling Brown. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I have a really great question for you, though. Uh, one that I've been commenting in my three weeks as a diehard sports fan. Could Vince Lombardi coach the Knicks? We're talking football here, so we're going to take another question from the Red Sox jersey. 
So, where do you see the current receivers in the NFL in the next 10 years? Like, where do you see them? What do you mean? I like, think the top five in the be? next 10 years. Yeah, in like 10 years, who, and only current receivers. No. I think it's going to be... I think I think Amok, Amok, Amon, Amon Ross St. Brown could be at the... Could be a very good... 10 Why years, I don't know. I no, think at this moment, Marvin Harrison. Five, but Puka. in the next couple of years, Puka, Puka could be very good as well. Puka, Puka Nakua, yeah. He's a very didn't, good he say, did he put him in your I top five? I put Puka in my top five. No, he's, he's going to be out of league. He's going to be chilling at, at, chilling at his house playing a, a movie the show. Well, a lot, of the, a lot of the top Tyree wide Hill. receivers are probably like in high school right now in 10 years, the sure, top wide probably. receivers. They're still in high school, so we don't really like. I think Jeremiah Smith will be a top five. That's all we have uh, time for right now. No more questions. I'm sorry, everyone. But this segment was brought to you by MLW Catch, the best at, the best wiffle ball action on the internet, on on their YouTube page, MLW Wiffle Ball, and all their socials. Also, they have a summer of stadium tours. Uh, is headed to many major league and minor league baseball parks around the country, and look for play by play call call of the day after the first game of every series video posted on their YouTube. Thanks, Adam. Great night. Thank <laughs> you.